Hello, I'm Dr. Brenda Roman, Professor of Psychiatry and Director of Medical Student Education in the Department of Psychiatry at the Wright State University Boonshoff School of Medicine. I'm going to answer some important questions about substance use disorders. The first question is, the American Psychiatric Association is on the verge of moving away from the diagnostic categories of drug abuse and drug dependence, which used to be seen and defined as different problems. Why? Many psychiatrists, addiction medicine specialists, psychologists, and other mental health professionals have recognized that abuse isn't really a separate type of condition from drug dependence or drug addiction, except in terms of how serious the problem is as both cause impairment in some way. So instead of looking at separate symptoms for abuse and dependence, the American Psychiatric Association lists a comprehensive set of 11 criteria for diagnosing these problems and calls the new diagnosis substance use disorder. What is a substance use disorder? A substance use disorder is a pattern of substance use that leads to impairment or distress. If a person meets two or more of the 11 criteria in any 12-month period, they can be diagnosed with a substance use disorder. If they meet four or more of the criteria, the substance use disorder is characterized as a severe form of the disorder. In my view, that's a more useful way of looking at how a problem with alcohol or other drugs affects people rather than trying to draw a line between abuse and dependence. It also makes more sense as a way of understanding how much help people need as they deal with the impairment or distress that accompany their use of substances. Another common question is, what are the symptoms of a substance use disorder? Of the 11 symptoms or criteria for substance use disorders, two deal with physical dependence, tolerance and withdrawal. Tolerance means that a person needs more of the substance in order to get the same or desired effect or get less of an effect when they take the same amount of a substance. For example, a person used to get calm or relaxed when they took one Valium, but now needs two Valium tablets to get the same effect. They've developed tolerance. Withdrawal is when a person experiences physical symptoms when they stop taking the substance, like getting the shakes when they stop drinking or needs to take the substance in order to avoid the withdrawal symptoms, like taking Vicodin in order to avoid nausea, sweating, or other effects of opioid withdrawal. In addition to the symptoms of physical dependence, there are nine other diagnostic criteria for substance use disorders. I'll simply list those and give an example of each one. Failure to fulfill major obligations at work, school, or home. For example, being late to work on Mondays because of weekend drug use. Using the substance in situations that are physically hazardous, like drinking and driving. Continuing to use sub a substance in spite of social or interpersonal problems, like getting into arguments with a family member over how much or how often you take drugs. Taking more of the substance than intended. For example, intending to take a normal dose of a prescription pain medication, but taking more than was prescribed. A persistent desire to cut down or unsuccessful attempts to cut down. A person who repeatedly tells herself that she needs to reduce her use of alcohol or pain medicine, but doesn't do so, meets this criterion. A great deal of time spent getting the substance, using it, or recovering from use. For example, doctor shopping when a person spends a lot of time trying to find a doctor who will prescribe a certain drug. Giving up or cutting back on social, job, or recreational activities because of substance use. A common example is avoiding social events or activities because alcohol isn't served. Use, in spite of the knowledge that the, phys that the substance causes physical or psychological problems like continuing to use cocaine even though you know that it will lead to insomnia or can cause significant heart problems, craving or an urge to use a specific substance. An example of this criterion is having a strong desire for a cigarette after eating. It is important to understand that these criteria are not only required diagnostic knowledge for professionals, but that Understanding the criteria can help friends and loved ones to recognize and prevent some of the most severe consequences of substance use disorders like overdose, addiction, and other drug-related health problems. 
Thanks for watching this segment on substance use disorders and their diagnoses. I hope you'll tune in to other segments of our prescription drug disorder series.